Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Uh, you guys know me, I'm flying all over the place all the time, and we've already seen you know, a whole bunch of the other apps I use while I travel. Uh, TripIt and Flight Tracker are kind of a must. When I'm in the air, this is actually one of my favorite websites, and they now have an Android app. It's FlightAware, and it's pretty damn incredible. So uh, when you first start it up, here's what you're gonna see. This is the uh, search menu, so you can track a flight by flight number, track it by tail number, if you know the exact tail number of the plane, or you can do by flight route, and that's kind of cool, origin destination. So uh, pretty simple stuff, you know, you can walk yourself through that just fine. I have logged in, so here's uh, some more cool stuff you can do once you're actually registered with a site and logged in. So uh, you have My Flight Aware, which uh, if you have anything saved, it'll take you to it. I don't have any aircraft or alerts saved, but I do have my airport saved uh, because this is actually what I have bookmarked on the site on the desktop, and it's really, really cool. So you can go directly to the arrivals and departures of uh, whatever airport you want. Scheduled departures, seaplanes that are en route. And here it gives you a list of the planes and see, uh, you know, which carrier they're with, American Eagle, PSA, whatever. Uh, Delta, you know, we get a lot of regional stuff here because we have a regional airport. Uh, another really cool thing you can do is actually see the flights and it puts them on top of Google Maps and then skins it. And it's a little slow and a little janky, but it is very cool. Now you can see how you have different kinds of planes, so you can see the different aircraft types. And tap on one, and it will pull up that flight. So very, very cool. So that one, it's a private plane going from Pensacola to Austin, Texas. Very, very neat. Uh, you can view the local ground map as well, and it'll show you the airport in relation to the city. There we are my humble little airport and then you can add an airport uh, to your list of airports if you want as well let's see what else we have let's see nearby and that will take you to finds where you are and then shows you all the uh, aircraft in flight so it's you know the, the v1 of the app right it's a little bit janky we saw the map scrolling before you can see the size of the airplanes is a little odd especially if you've ever used the uh, the uh, browser version as well and just gone to the website and then you have airport info, so you can choose an airport and see delays and see what's going on. We'll just pick Albuquerque here since it's right there on top of the list. View airport detail. And again, we already saw this with the Pensacola one. And then you can also see delays too. And then it pulls up its list of delays. Now it doesn't do that for every single, uh, every single airport in the country, but it does it for the big ones. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the brand new FlightAware app. I am a little excited. We'll see you later.